feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp. Hello and welcome to the video wrap-up show for the Shrimp Tank Podcast here in Seattle. I'm Dan Whedon and I'm joined by my co-host, Monica Blackwood. We had a fascinating and a very fun conversation today with our guest, Rick Morton. You're going to want to listen to the entire episode, so please do by subscribing wherever you get your podcasts. You can also find all of our episodes on our website at shrimptankpodcast.com slash Seattle. So, Rick, in uh, the ending part of our podcast that we talked about, we had a lot of fun talking about transferable skills and um, specifically skills, those work ethics and whatnot that go from being a professional clown to being a successful business entrepreneur. Can you highlight those top four things that you gave in the podcast? Uh Absolutely. So yeah, when I was 13, my teacher said, hey, you'd make a great clown. So I went to San Diego, San Diego State Clown College. I learned all about what it takes to be a successful clown, uh, character development. Um, but once I got my license, I had to decide I was going to be successful by promoting myself. Uh, so it took a lot of courage just to put yourself out there because obviously you're going to risk being judged or laughed at. You know, I was riding my bike before I got my driver's license down you know, La Mesa Avenue in San Diego, wearing my clown outfit. And so it takes a lot of courage, I think, to both be a clown and to be an entrepreneur. I would also say it's going to take a lot of hustle. You just got to work hard. There's always somebody out there uh, that's trying to take yours. So to be the best, you got to work hard, be relentless, and just you know that nothing can replace hard work. Um, and obviously, I had to do that as a clown. Because believe it or not, there was a lot of uh, clown choices that people had for their birthday parties. Uh, the other thing I would say is that, you know, just the idea that you are in this world to encourage others. I think the human beings, you know, we all have the need to be seen, heard, and loved. Um, and people love it when the, somebody surprises them and catches them off. So I make it a goal to make people's day. I think as an entrepreneur and a clown, your goal should be to take people to a place they weren't expecting, make them smile, bring joy into their life by sharing a story or perhaps providing something that they needed. And the last thing I would say is just great communication skills. As a clown, I had to communicate to two-year-olds and 99-year-olds, um, and they all loved getting their faces painted. They all loved to get an animal balloon. I don't care how old you are, you were always a kid, but to communicate with your body language, with your words, uh, with your eyes, with your with just your tone. It's a powerful thing to be able to go from acting as a clown and now taking on a business and deciding that your vision, because you came up with your business, but having that vision and then communicating that vision to the world to letting them know, hey, this is what you're about. So those are what I would say are transferable skills. I, I love those. I, I, I'm so glad Monica asked you that here because uh, I thought that the, that was a terrific uh, way to end the show. Now, listen, you, it was also evident that you have an incredible zest and energy, a passion for working with, with schools, helping uh, kids, especially those graduating and, and showing appreciation to teachers. Talk about what Jostens is, what your business is, and how you're making an impact on thousands of kids and teachers around the area. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, my mission and my goal in this world is to help every school I get to work with to create an, a, an environment where every kid walking that, that campus feels successful and also the teachers feel appreciated. And of course, the leadership feeling that they have the tools in order to uh, bring their school to that next level. So that's my passion. Where it comes from is my own personal story with my own personal teacher. I, I shared on the podcast, you know, Mrs. Kaur was my swim coach and um, she had to have a very difficult conversation. I made some really bad decisions my junior year of high school. I literally, my grades went from a three, five to a one nine. So I got kicked off the swim team and she had to tell me on our early morning practice. And I, I had to tell 80 of my best friends that I let them down. And I was probably in a very low place. I, I, I just remember feeling like giving up and she worked with all my teachers. She helped come up with a plan and she kept me accountable every single week. And within six weeks, I had my grades up to where I can qualify to swim again. I would not be here today if it wasn't for Mrs. Core. 
Uh, she truly impacted my life in ways that I just can't even put words into. And I happen to believe that every one of us walking this, this earth that has any resemblance of success probably got some help from an amazing teacher. And I, I bet you anybody listening right now can think of that teacher right now who made a big impact. Knowing what I know about us and human beings and kids, everybody's journey is different. And there's so much negativity in this world. I, I just decided that I'm going to be a voice of positivity, of encouragement, of love, and, and of excitement. And if, if I get, you know, people looking at me negatively about that, I've learned just to dismiss those voices. But um, it, just, it just comes from that love for people. Um, more than anything else. I love people. I love to hear their stories. I love to hear what gets them excited. And I love hearing the challenges that they've overcome because I see a lot of that too. So I think that's where that comes. That's great. Thanks, Rick, for being a guest on our Shrimp Tank podcast today. Um, for our listeners that want to get in touch with you and learn more about uh, Justin's and your company, how can they get more information? Well, there is a lot of me all over the country. I happen to live in Western Washington, but if you want to reach out, connect with me personally, just email me at rick.morton at jostens.com. One of my favorite conversations to have is how to help environments grow. And uh, it could be a small business, a large business, a school, a church, a volunteer organization. It's all including people and people have some very universal truths about them. So reach out if you have a conversation, you have questions. Um, you can also follow, follow us on our social media. We're Jostens South Sound, and we have uh, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, where we just celebrate the awesome achievements of the amazing students and schools here in our area, because we just love being cheerleaders for everybody around this area. So, and if you see me at a Starbucks, say hi. I love, I love connecting with my people. Thanks again. Uh, make sure you check out all of our replays on shrimptankpodcast.com slash Seattle and wherever you get your podcasts, like iHeart or um, Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, SoundCloud, all of that. Please follow us on our show's social media pages, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Well, Rick, thank you very much. And everybody, you got to listen to the whole show. Rick is fantastic. You got you got to learn how he got, he went from a clown to a, to a very successful entrepreneur over a, uh, what a, I guess that was about a 30 year time period uh, doing great work now thanks for for being on the show monica as always thank you everybody if you enjoyed this video click like and subscribe below also please check out our patron membership page it's filled with exclusive content to help grow your business and enrich your life go to patreon.com slash shrimp tank seattle and as monica said join us every week at 12 p.m pacific for our live stream broadcast on our facebook page our next show will be on July 26th. We hope to see you then. Until we meet again, be safe, be well, and be prosperous. Because for right now, the shrimp is back in the tank. So long. I've been feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp.